Why, hello everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Playframe. My name is Dan, if you are not familiar with me, and uh, this is Chrono Trigger. And I love it. <laughs> uh, we're playing this because I adore this game, but I have not played it in like half a lifetime. It really feels long overdue for me to revisit this. Um, and if you haven't played it, which I'm assuming, I have to assume a lot of the people who are subscribed to this channel probably haven't at this point because it's a pretty old game. Um, this is a JRPG that Square, uh, Square Enix, then Squaresoft, um, this is before that, yeah, 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 this is before they became Square Enix. Uh, this is a game they made back in 1995 for the Super Nintendo, uh, around the same time as Final Fantasy VI, I think a little bit before or after, I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, it's it's a, a JRPG that is just great. And it has, it was made by like an all-star list of names in Square. Like you have the creator of Final Fantasy, the creator of Dragon Quest, uh, Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball doing the character art. You've got, yeah, there, <laughs> you see, you've got not only Yasunori Mitsuda, one of the great Square, like, JRPG composers on the soundtrack, he is joined by Nobuo Uematsu. I, I just said his name real bad. Nobuo Uematsu. <laughs> uh, both of them working on the same soundtrack. This is one of the best JRPG soundtracks of all time. It is extremely good. I adore it. Uh, <laughs> also, you've got, like, I think Kitase, one of the, uh, like the main heads of Final Fantasy VII was on this as well. Also a little baby Tetsuya Nomura doing like field art and stuff. Like tons of big uh, Square Enix names all working on this one game. And it is so good. Also, you can summon a giant frog, as you can see. There's a lot to like. <laughs> it's very good. And I just felt in the mood to play it. So we're just gonna have a chill Chrono Trigger time. And if you've not played this before, I highly recommend doing so. But if you'd rather just watch, that's okay. We're, <laughs> we're gonna have a good time. Listen to that music though. It's so good. This was the first JRPG I ever encountered as a kid. And it took me like a weirdly long time to encounter my first JRPG. So like I was a teen at that point, but it kind of blew my mind. And it holds a special place in my heart. Like, I think this is the true gem of the Super Nintendo era of Squaresoft output. I, Final Fantasy VI is good and great. I think this game's pretty incredible though. At least, I think that having not played it in a very long time. I guess we'll find out together, won't we? <laughs> All right, let's just start this thing. En enough. Let's get in there. Uh, okay. We can choose between battle modes. Active, where enemies will just keep attacking while I'm choosing moves, or wait, uh, where they will, like, as soon as my, like, ATB bar fills, uh, time just stops and I can choose my moves. Let's start with active. I think you can switch it uh, in the middle of the game anytime you want to. And also, we name our main character whose name is Chrono. This is gonna be a good time. Settle in, also, because it's sort of, it's a JRPG, so it's a bit long. Hardly the longest JRPG out there, but we're gonna be here a while. Bring a snack. Hydrate. Chrono. Chrono. Good morning, Chrono. Come on, sleepyhead. Get up. Ah, Lena Isbell makes such beautiful music. You were so excited about the Millennial Fair, you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. Let's get moving now. Listen to that, though. <laughs> uh, this whole soundtrack just, like, goes straight to my heart. 
I am in love with it. Okay. Um, here's our character. His name is Chrono. You know, I'm not like the hugest fan of like Akira Toriyama's character art style, but convert that into 16-bit sprites. I adore this. I love how this looks. What a fun design. Also, I can close the window. <laughs> okay. Can I do anything else in here? Can I go back to bed? No? Come on. All right. Fine. Hello. Finally. By the way, that inventor friend of yours. Uh, you know. Oh dear, I've forgotten her name. Right. Luca. That's right, Luca. Don't forget that she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now and be back before dinner. Yes, ma'am. Nice house. And nice cat. <laughs> Hello, cat. You can pet the cat. <laughs> Decades before that became mandatory in every video game. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. Nice. How old are we? <laughs> Still getting allowance, though. Nice. <laughs> cat agrees. All right. Let's get out there. Let's adventure! Ah, the world map. Ooh, the truce inn. Hello, everyone. Come on in, take your bloody time. I'd rather serve you than go to the fair anyway. <laughs> Tough day, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've had to work national holidays before. I understand. Been to the fair yet? No. Well, get going then. You'll have to wait a thousand years for another millennial fair. Wow. <laughs> That's we really pigeonholed ourselves into a rough schedule with that name, huh? We should have, we shouldn't have called it that. You only get to celebrate this fair once every thousand years. Are you buying, J um, the piano? No. Oh, a drink. Sure. Thanks. I'll play you a song. Great. Now oh, that is very nice. Man, the soundtrack though. How are you doing? Like your hat. Lodging's 10 gold, check it. No, I just woke up, man. See you around. What do you think? Remember the earthquake we just had? Um, I just got here. No. Wait, does Chrono hold up his, like, hand to his chin? Like, when he's listening to somebody? I think he does. That's awesome. I don't... I, I mean, uh, granted, I've not researched this or anything. I can't think of a lot of, uh, games from this era that had, like, a unique listening in-conversation sprite for your main character. I'm sure this is not the only one. That's a really nice touch, though. No? Airhead, huh? Well, never mind. Well, I was hoping you'd... Tell me about it. What you okay? Well, what if I lie? <laughs> yes, I totally remember. I was there. We've been having too many. Something's wrong. Hope the big one isn't coming. I hope that too. Thank you for it. Help. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ooh. This box has been in the family for generations. Open it, and you may have what's inside. Sealed by a mysterious force, and a very good little sound cue. <laughs> Uh, we'll check up on that later. Anyway, let's go out. There's so much else to see. Ah. Uh, I have not played this since I was in college, I think. It's been a long time, and, uh... <laughs> I'm very excited to, like, see it with fresh eyes. To experience the nostalgia, but also to sort of, like, appreciate what it did well, and also just appreciate how far we've come. Hi, do you know about our establishment? No. This is the Mayor's Education Center. Think of it as a workshop for beginners. You can take the things you find here. Wow, nice. <laughs> uh, need a brief weapons and items seminar? Sure. Weapons include swords, bows, and guns. Some weapons can only be used by specific party members. You'll find a variety of armor for the head and body. Finally, there are numerous accessories with unique properties and effects. As you gain power, swords will inflict greater damage. Bows and guns get more powerful as your hit rate increases. Nice. These are basics, but I figure, again, a lot of you probably haven't played this before, so we could all benefit from the knowledge. It has been a while for me, too. Do you know about shelters? They're quite useful. Uh, no. 
Use shelters at save points or on the world map to completely restore HP and MP. Oh, okay. Tense. Gotcha. Got one tonic. Nice. We're allowed to steal here. We were told so. Use the Y button to move the message or battle window up or down. Really? I don't remember that being an option. Hang on. Uh, Y button. Whoa, that's kind of cool. You can walk while reading messages, but go too far and you can miss them. That's also nice. These are nice little touches. Uh, you. Scattered throughout this world are places where you can save your game. Save whenever you can, especially in unfamiliar or dangerous areas. Great advice. Um, is, is this not, is this not a save point? That's just a replica. <laughs> Record your journey whenever you find the real McCoy. <laughs> You'll find more of them in riskier areas. Good to know. Also, remember you can log in anywhere on the world map. Great. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, ooh, stairs. Hello. Wow. Nice armor. All right, I'll teach you about skills. Are you willing to learn? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. During combat, the effect, uh, the effect of each attack can vary. That's a super Toriyama enemy design. <laughs> I love it. First, some of your attacks will damage more than one enemy. For example, target this critter, and your attack will hit another monster in the area. Yeah, they got AoE attacks. Uh, but if you target this one, you can get all three at once. Use this fact to your advantage. Next, you can hit enemies in your direct line of sight. There are two attack patterns. The first one... Allows you to attack all the enemies oriented on a straight line from you. Yeah, positioning's really important in this more than most other JRPGs uh, of this era. You may place the cursor on uh, any one of them on the line. The other pattern allows you to hit only the enemies in a straight line between you and the target. As in the previous example, all three creatures are targeted here, but... Select this one and this is all you'll get. Next, use an enemy to establish a line, and any others on it will also be hit. So th what they're basically, they're not explaining it super well here, but uh, all of your special technique abilities have specific like areas of effect, whether it's a line or a circle or various things. So they're kind of letting you know you can uh, try to target enemies tactically with those to hit more than one at a time sometimes, if you use them strategically. You'll, it'll make sense once we get in there. They're lined up horizontally here. So you may target any of them. The final pattern puts you at the center of the attack zone. You can't use an attack like this if your enemies are outside of the zone. However, your attack will hit all enemies inside the active zone. Thank you for the tutorial. Feel that's about it. Feel more confident? I so do. How are you doing? Want my advice? Yes. You've got potential. You'll learn a number of my techniques as you progress. Techniques are magic attacks that also utilize your weapons. You'll acquire them with discipline. Cool. That was good advice. I'm also taking your stuff. Found a hundred gold. Want to learn about damage in battle? Yes. Some monsters have special attacks. Poison. HP slowly decreases. Your attacks are weakened. Ah, okay. So also a attack debuff. Slow increases the time between attacks. I like this. That th th They're like giving you the little tutorial and showing you what the in-battle, like, visual effect is as well at the same time. That's a great way to tutorialize it. Sleep lowers your guard. A good hit will wake you up again. Chaos confuses you into attacking allies. A little tough on friendships. <laughs> Blind. You can't see too well. It's hard to hit enemies. Lock. Can't use any techniques. Stop. Immobilizes and disables you. That's very helpful, thank you. In these situations, your guard is down and you'll sustain more damage. Use heal or wait until the battle ends to heal automatically. Really? Wait, does everyone heal at the end of battles in this? I did not remember that. We're gonna have to find out about that, I guess, once we get into it. I would love to hear more. You're teaching me new things. When your HP hits zero, you'll be disabled. Use revive to restore yourself, but every if everyone goes down, you're through. Be careful. Good to know. So yeah, like, that's another thing I should mention. Because I have not played this in a very long time, and at the time I did play it, I don't think I played it with like a walkthrough or anything. There's so much about this game I don't know. I'm gonna try to see as much of it as I can and do side quests and other fun stuff. Um, 
but I'm sure there are super optimized ways and fun secrets that uh, like super knowledgeable players will know that I won't. So if you're looking for optimal play, there, this definitely isn't the playthrough for you. But if you're just kind of wanting to experience the game as kind of as much as possible and see the story and all that, uh, well, stick around. <laughs> Hold down the L and R buttons to escape from battle. Know when to run, but you need to fight to grow strong. Now, about the equip menu, numbers next to the sword and shield icons indicate attack and defense power. The higher the number, the greater the power. M def <laughs> indicates your ability to block magic attacks, but it's if it's 10, then magic damage will be reduced by 10%. A star after any characteristic means it's at maximum strength. Great. Very good. Thank you for all your teachings, everyone. I'm going back outside. There are presumably a lot more buildings, I assume. Oh, here's one. Luca's house. Wow, you have a whole island. This is the best house. It's a mess. Luca. Shame on you. Is your clockwork? I feel like if you're an inventor and your clock doesn't work. Of all the people who could possibly fix their own clock, it seems like an inventor could do it. Is anyone home? Oh, hello. Lara. Oh, hi, Chrono. Luca's off at Lena Square with her father, Taban, uh, unveiling her new invention. Oh, great. Do you say more things? Okay, maybe, uh, I don't remember if everyone, if characters have, like, multiple text boxes sometimes, or if it's just the one. It was a crapshoot sometimes with these, uh, <laughs> earlier RPGs. Okay. Wait, did I go in that center door? Yes. <sighs> I'm already having a good time. Um. Ooh, market. Um. Uh, hi. Someone left a Furby in charge of the store. Visit our stall in Lena Square. Okay. Is that like an actual creature that just said that, or is this like someone left a very elaborate post-it note? I can't tell if it's alive, and I'm unsettled. Residence. Hello. That brat Luca says she's made the discovery of a lifetime. Wow, that's... Hey, it's my friend, man. Be cool. You just walk in place and cool off. I'm so happy I could... <laughs> I don't know... I don't know why, there's something about that text box with the exclamation mark while she's sitting there completely still and static. That is very funny. <laughs> I'll leave y'all be. Y'all have a lot going on emotionally, it seems like. Wait a minute. Oh, Chrono's house and a residence. It's a different building. Hello. Hard to believe Guardia is now a thousand years old, and our king is the 33rd descendant to the throne. But how can he rule a kingdom when he can't even control his own daughter? That's a normal thought to have until a stranger who walked in your house. Nice to meet you. Actually, no, we've probably met. We're neighbors. Um, can I get to this? I want to get to this. Look at this boat. It's adorable. Uh, ooh, ticket office. Hello. Sometimes a mysterious whirlpool appears in the ocean near here. What could cause that? Great question. If only Fritz would return, I'd ask for nothing more. Aw. Oh. It's ten gold to- or G or whatever. I'm gonna call it gold. <laughs> to Pore. Hop aboard? No, 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 no. I've got places to be on this continent. Um. Now let's go up to the dang fair. We put it off enough. Lena Square. Ah. Hello. Welcome to the Millennial Fair. Have fun. I will. Oh, it's a cat. Hey, cat. Hey, cat. Cat. Or, sorry, are you busy? I'll talk to you later. So many people to see. I heard Luca and her dad have made another crazy invention. Hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. I do hope that. Or if it does blow up, I hope it's fun to watch. This is Lena Square. They say people who hear Lena's bell ring will have interesting and happy lives. Are there... Are there people here who cannot hear it? Like, I've been hearing it, or I heard it this morning. 
Can they ring a bell that only some of us can hear? This is a magical world. Oh, you're a shock. What do you have? Tonics, which restore HP. Heals, which restore status. Revives and shelters, which... Shelters. Okay, cool. I'm going to save my money for the time being. What do you do? You sell armor, I see. Karate gi and a bronze helm. Oh, nice. They show, like, the defense count down there and, like... Presume, I'm assuming the fact that it's light blue means that it's an improvement over my current... Oh, yeah, it is. So, 16 to 21. Nice. Okay. I appreciate being shown that in the actual shop menu. That was not always a thing that happened <laughs> in JRPGs of this era. Um... The race is on. Be quiet and watch. Oh, is that what's going on? You're racing. Can I join? Cat, you came in so last. The race is on. Be quiet. Well, yeah, but can I... Last round's winner. Green Ambler. Guess the winner? Sure. Cat. <laughs> Steel Runner, Green Ambler, Cadillac, or GI Jogger. Cat, I believe in you. You can do this. All right, Cat. Don't let me down. When does the race start? Am I going to be waiting here for... Oh, okay, here we go. Come on, cat. Come on, cat. Come on, cat. I'm cheering you on. I'm cheering you on. Also, I can run faster than all of you. Cat, I believe in you. Go. Go. Win the race. Win the race. Come on, cat. I know you can do this. He's wearing heavy armor, cat. Aw, oh, cat. You tried. It's okay. Good job. Um, The race is... Okay. How are you doing? I heard this guy pays big bucks for charms, weapons, pendants, and other rarities. Cool. This guy? Buy something from Melchior the Swordsmith? Sure. Buy Iron Blade or Load Sword? Lode Sword. Lodi Sword. Lodi Sword. I don't know what it is. Let's go with Load Sword. I can't afford it. Can't afford that. Wait. No, I can. Yeah, I might just buy that, actually. It's an upgrade. How much of an upgrade? Well, it's only a little one, but, you know, heck, I'll have it. Give me Iron Blade. Thank you. Let's, um... I live on the continent to the east. Come see me sometime. You got it. I love this balloon. It's a cute balloon. Okay, um, menu. Uh, where do I equip? Gear. Here, perhaps? Yes. Okay. Iron blade. Bam. Fantastic. Also got an item menu. Uh, this is the place where our tech, our techniques will be... Um, it's kind of a configuration screen, I guess. Oh, oh, character swapping or saving. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go talk to more people. There are, like, so many. The Steel Runner might try something. Oh, are you giving me, like, hints on who the next winner might be? Because as it stands right now, it looks like Steel Runner, whatever they tried, did not work out. This is the renowned Tent of Horrors. Spend your zero silver points here. Parental discretion advised. My... How do you know I don't have any silver points? What's a silver point? Can I have one? I'm going in. Can't stop me. I have an iron sword. Hello? Kafka? Welcome to Norstein Beckler's lab. The spine-tingling show's about to start. How many silver points would you like to pay? Um, I mean, I'd love to pay. 40. You don't have enough points. Fair enough. <laughs> and a good day to you. Where does one get points? Those runners are busy racing, so they won't talk to you. Oh, I notice. Press the A button while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully and press the A button again. You got it. Yep. I did all right. Um, didn't hit the bell, though. Ha! Ah, oh, come on. Uh, yeah! Come on, man. All right, where's the, uh, boom? Yeah! Impressive! I'll put one silver point on your card. One, huh? That's not very many. Impressive! One po Okay, this is going to take a very long time. How are you doing? This kingdom's been through a lot, like the war against Magus 400 years ago. Thank goodness things are so peaceful now. Yes, I agree. Big fan of peace. 
What's the big deal? So what if we won a war against a wizard hundreds of years ago? <laughs> Counterpoint. <sighs> Alright. Oh. Hey! Ouch, that hurt. Ooh, bell. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant. Um, you alright? What's going on? Oh no, don't tell me I lost it. Um, it's, um, hang on, I gotcha. It's right here. There you go. Gotcha covered. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant. It has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Yes. I came to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? I feel a little out of place here. Would you mind if I walked around with you for a while? Uh, sure. <laughs> so happy about it. I love that little animation. That's very cute. You're a true gentleman. Oh, by the way, my name is... Uh... <laughs> thinking about it. Um... I've always wondered how this is pronounced. Because I've heard people say Marley. I've heard Marley. I've also heard Marl. And actually, come to think of it, in Final Fantasy VII Remake, there is a character named Marl with the same spelling, and they call her Marl, so let's go with that. Marl it is. Nice to meet you. Love your character portrait. Uh, Marl, and you're... Chrono? What a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Now, lead on. I shall. There's a lot of stuff to explore. Love this bell, by the way. Flowers, very good. Um... You have two silver points. Want to exchange 10 silver points for 50 gold? Uh, wait. So if I spend 50 gold, I get 10 silver points? Is that the... I'm gonna hold off for now, okay? Um... Hey there. No time to talk. I'm just sitting down for my lunch. Fair enough. Uh... How are you doing? Keep going if you want to demo Luca's robot battle trainer. Collect silver points if you win. Oh gosh, I need them. Hello, hello. <laughs> Sad animation, though. Look at that. <laughs> they call me Gato. I have metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. <laughs> I don't know where they got the idea that the robot should sing this line, nor the idea to then create a custom theme just for this robot. But I love it. So are we fighting? Yeah, we are. All right, combat! Attack! Hey, don't punch me. Attack! Ow. Hurts. <laughs> nice. Stop punching Chrono in the face. <laughs> Quit. All right, bar full. Okay, do I have any techs? I have none. Let's just attack. Do you have... Nope. Attack it is. Yeah, got 10 experience points and one tech point and silver points also, presumably. <laughs> I lost, you won. Here's 15 points. Now, wasn't that fun? Great rhyme. Thanks for the points. I'm not going to start a fight with you again. I mean, I'd love to get more points. Don't get me wrong. You punched me in the face like so much. How are we doing on health? Less than, less good than before. That's... Of that, we can be certain. Whatever, we're good. I don't even know what to do with these points other than go to that one show. I guess I could... could go to the show. Going to the show could be fun. What do you think, Cat? Yeah, Cat agrees. Oh! Cat wants to go to the show, too. Come along, Cat. Cat, you okay? Cat, come on. We're going to a show. Now, parental looks like discretion advised and all that. So, Cat, how old are you? Here, we'll sneak you in, like, inside my tunic or whatever. How you doing, guy? It's a soda guzzling contest. Press the A button as fast as you can. You got it. Here we go. Ready, set, go! Ah, guzzling. Ah. <laughs> this is uncomfortable already. Ah. Only seven cans? Is that the best you can do? Jeez, dude. Seven cans of soda? In like 10 seconds? I feel pretty proud of myself. You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Chrono? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> um, Kat, how are you doing? Good. 
Great. Where are you doing also? Cat? Cat, where'd you go? Cat? Cat? Huh. You brought back my cat. Thank you. Oh, your cat. Good. You're so sweet, Chrono. Yeah, and on purpose, too. Um, I'm gonna go this way. Ooh. This is fun. After pressing the B button and dashing here and there, I'm pooped. But this dance has rejuvenated me. Kind of me, too. I'm digging it. Catchy rhythm. Use the X, Y, L, and R buttons to dance. What? We can dance, are you kidding me? A prehistoric dance. How enchanting. Can I get up to the... Yeah. So wait. We can dance! By holding down buttons. Or just pressing buttons. Nah, hold them down. Yeah. Wow, they actually, like, made it s sort of synced to the music, too. Ah, that's less a dance and more of a panic or and laughing, but... <laughs> uh, cute. Oh, cat, are you just hanging out now? Good. Stop running off, all right? I'm gonna go back and see if I can get in that show and pay 10 silver points. Which is hopefully enough. The fact that they left it open how much I could pay them is a little concerning. Love your laugh. Welcome to the... It's so, so and such. How many silver points would you like to pay? Um, well, I have ten. Well, I have more than ten, but you can have ten. Um. I'm Vix. I'm Wedge. I'm Piet. Oh, uh, no. Find Wedge? Oh, dear. Okay, uh... Are you... I, I'm gonna be honest, I followed Vix. I'm Piet. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> um... <laughs> we get nothing. Yay! I'm good at this game. So let's... Is there anything else around? I don't think... I think I've covered, like, all the, uh... Yeah. I think I've covered all the space. Yeah? I think so. All right. I hate fairs. Say, do you know the latest gossip? Uh, no. Just between us, I heard that the king is distressed over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once, I'd like to see how wild she really is. You don't say... Um, I hate. F oh, it's this. <laughs> then scram. <laughs> uh, if you know the gossip, that shopkeep wants a nothing to do with you. Wait, where am I going? What are you about? They're still setting up. Why don't you come back in a while? Fair enough. All right. Uh, huh. Oh, we could go fight the robot again and maybe die. That'd be a pretty rough end to our time at the fair. But it's also a good way to get points. And maybe guess which one is Vix and Wedge again, so... You know what, heck it. That robot's not the boss of us. I don't care how good it sings. Come here. <laughs> yes, Gato, I remember. It's a good song. And earn 15 silver points. All right, come on. Put up your dukes. Please don't hit Chrono again. He doesn't have the health for this nonsense. What did I just say? <laughs> this robot knows strategy. Chrono, try not to die. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I actually wonder what happens if you lose this fight? That could be super funny. Far too far away. Oh, you could counterattack. That was what was going on. I see. What? Whoa. Okay, that's not so bad. That's cool. So, okay, so you're like, the counterattack mechanic kind of factors in the robot's distance from you. So you need to like wait until it's further away. That's neat. It's not exactly tutorializing, but like, <laughs> Mara leveled up. Chrono died. Chrono, how are you feeling? I lost you one. Here's 15 points. That wasn't that fun. 
thank you for that. Chrono, how you... <laughs> okay. So I was actually, that, I was just wondering, like, I remember the uh, the mayor's tutorial house said that after battle you'll recover MP or HP. It seems you will only recover one HP if you died, so you won't be dead. So we're not dead, and that's nice, but let's use our tonic, I guess. I don't know of anywhere other than our... Can I go back home? I guess I can go back home. Can I go heal for free back home? This is a question we're going to find the answer to. Because having one HP makes me a little uncomfortable. Hey, do you mind leaving the fair and going to my house? Not to be weird, but I'm almost dead. Welcome to my house. It's great here. This is my cat. Cat loves you. How's it going? I almost died. I picked a fight with a robot at the fair. My, how nice. I've only seen you with Luca, who's your pretty new friend. Hi, I'm Marl. Eh? Marl? I'm sure I've seen you before, dear. Now, where was that? <laughs> Slick little hints there. Like, not like it's hard to guess, but still. Can I sleep and... How about a snooze? Like, heck yeah. And you just, Marl, chill, like, at my desk or something for a second. I'm going to sleep and be revived. The power of a good eight hours. Who needs hospitals? Luca, is your show ready yet? I want to see your invention explode. Or work. <laughs> Whichever. Alright. Uh, well, we have more silver points. What else can we get up to? You're welcome, kid, but... Oh, you're so... Yeah, you don't have to... <laughs> you don't have to overdo it. I'm not fighting the... Well... Am I fighting the robot again? No, let's not fight the robot again. Let's go see if we can win the guessing game again, though. I'll be honest, I don't know what moves the, <laughs> the game forward at this point. Yes, yes. This time I'll get it. Just you wait. I wonder what the difference is between point spend. I don't really feel like fighting the robot a million times to find out. I'm Vix. I'm Wedge. I'm Piet. Okay. This time I'm watching Wedge. Dang it. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that out loud. Are you Piet again? Ah ha ha! Is it that obvious? It's a Poyozo doll. It'll spruce up your room. Oh, nice! So that's what that is. <laughs> and now we have our own, a Payozo doll. To mind our shop. Go, cat! C cat, where even are you? Cat? Wow. You're not very fast. That's okay, cat. <laughs> You'll get it someday. Mm. Still not very good at this game. Ha! There it is. Yay. How many do I have, anyway? Is there a way to ask somebody? No, there was a guy. There was somebody who said how many silver points you have. It was, was like, up here? Or, or there was a guy who was willing to exchange them instead. You have 13. That's the number. And no, I don't. Um. Am I going to have to stop and look up how to make the story continue? <laughs> I feel like there's something I'm forgetting to do. Oh, hey, there we go. They ought to be ready now. Make for the far side of the square. Maybe I just needed to talk to this character again. This is going to be fun. Come on, Chrono. Sounds great. I'm so excited to see how this goes. Uh, hold your horses. I want to get some candy. Ooh. That's a great idea. So, just to, uh, <laughs> just to let you know, you can try to walk away here if you get bored. Um, like, before she finishes buying the candy, but she'll yell at you. <laughs> or she'll get impatient with you. Um, hi, I'd like some of this. Sure, young lady. Thanks for waiting. Uh, and in fact, for those of you who haven't played this before, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. You need to mind your behavior at this fair, because there are consequences. 
That is all I will say. Step right up, any of you who have the time and the courage. Our super dimension warp is the invention of the century. To use it, jump up here. And you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Hey, Luca. Check out that girl's glasses. She could probably see the backside of the moon with those. Y'all are really into glasses here. <laughs> Super impressed by glasses. It's like they've never seen them before. <laughs> Check out our war machine. Whoa, glasses. Lucas' inventions never work right. Oh, well, maybe that's why. <laughs> I guess that kind of explains it, huh? Luca, how goes? Chrono! Man, I love the sprite art in this. There's some really nice expressive, uh, like, uh, character art for like custom sprites for conversations and scenes and stuff. And they're all unique to each character as well. I really like it. Like that sort of a surprise pose there with the glasses popping up and you seeing her eyes is very cute. And it's uh, like Chrono Trigger is kind of benefiting from the same thing that Final Fantasy VI did, that philosophy where they made the battle screen and the world screen sprites the same size. So they could use kind of the same sprites on both in both battle and in just the world for story scenes. And it pays off huge for both games. It's really good. Sorry, animation nerd stuff. Anyway. Where have you been? No one wants to try the telepod. How about you? It looks fun. I'll watch while you try it out. Just hop onto the left pod. I will. What do you think? Don't worry, we tried it on our pets. There's no reason why it shouldn't work as well on humans. That's... Okay, so step right up. You got it. <laughs> All systems on. Begin energy transfer. Whoa. <laughs> Yay. Oh, wow, that was great. <laughs> Cute. We did it. So, how was it? Want to try it again? It worked. I can't believe it. <laughs> A, a thrilling display of science at its best, ladies and gentlemen. This is... Boy, I'm really glad this worked out, huh? What a kick. I want to try it, too. Huh? Hey, Chrono, how did you pick up a cutie like her? I don't know. Kind of by accident. We ran into each other. Hang on, Chrono. I'll be right there. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine... Don't go away, I'll be right back. You sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way, throw the switch. Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she reappears. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. What's happening? My pendant, it Huh? Whoa. Oh dear. Luca, where is she? The show's over, folks. Let's head along now. <laughs> they agreed to that very easily. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared, it couldn't have been the telepod. The warp field seemed to be affected by her pendant. What are we going to do now? She's so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. I love your glasses animation there. I know it's not the most important thing right now, but I'm a big fan. Why she disappeared? Right. Uh. Thoughts? What are we gonna do now? Oh, uh, well. Here's an idea. Chrono! You're actually gonna do it? What a fine lad! Listen, I don't know where this machine's gonna send you, but we haven't any other choice. Won't they both be lost? 
This is our only hope. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono, and brace yourself. All systems on. I feel like I should have spent maybe a few more seconds thinking about this plan. Begin energy transfer! Power to full! Roger! More! Give me more power! Roger! There! We did it! And here we go! I'll follow you after I know what went wrong. Good luck, Chrono. <laughs> uh, I love this game. Wonder how YouTube compression handled that. <laughs> well then, we're in a new place. Where is this? Oh. Oh. oh dear. Battle time with blue imps. Attack! I'm gonna attack this one that's further away, just in case y'all have that counterattack nonsense going for you. Glad I got that better sword. Hey, don't kick. Be cool. Yeah. There we go. Got six experience points and three tech points. And money. Excellent. All right, then. Oh, man. Sounds ominous. Tell you what, let's go ahead and wrap it up for today, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more Chrono Trigger. Y'all, I am very much looking forward to this. This is going to be a time. Do take care, and I will see you tomorrow for some more Chrono Trigger. Goodbye!